I was just watching uh, John Cook's press conference, and he said that in the first match, he thought Nebraska let too many off-speed shots drop. Uh, what did you guys too much do too much of the first time that you need to fix this time? Well, I would have said the same about us. Actually, I thought they they hit a lot of, with a lot of range, and um, certainly defensively, uh, we needed to make some changes. So uh, I think it'll be an interesting match to see what they do, and, and obviously, both teams are uh, well into the season, so we know a lot about each other. And uh, I, I'm not sure if it'll be about the plan you start with. It's probably the the one you adjust to in the middle of the competition. Coach, is there a feeling at all that uh, if you can survive this weekend and get up on uh, Wisconsin and Nebraska, that you can run the table on anybody in the country potentially? Yeah, I, I think um, you know the certainly that would that would help, but but I'm not sure that we need these matches these, these matches to somehow make that clear for us. Uh, you know, we've we've already had a, a nice win over Wisconsin, and and we know they're playing better and. Um, you know, we feel like we can compete with Nebraska. Uh, so once you get into the tournament, it's, it's about being good on the day. And, and I think we've proven that we're good enough. Um, certainly these matches give us a chance to really find out a lot before we get into the tournament. Both really good teams, um, they'll, they'll expose some weaknesses and um, it'll be great preparation for us to come. But I don't think, you know, the, the result here validates this one way, way or another. I mean, it feels like you know, they'll be just great matches and we'll see what happens. Yeah. A couple weeks ago, uh, you and your sister switched, right? Is that, was that for blocking? What's the, and how's it going? Um, I think that. Do you want me to answer that? Sure. Because it turns out I was the one who, who made that decision. <laughs> uh, it wasn't the, yeah. Uh, we do give our players a lot of autonomy, but, but not that much. Um, uh, Hannah was uh, doing a really good job hitting the slide, which is that thing off of one foot behind. And Paige was doing fine too, but, uh, but Hannah's number were a little, numbers were a little stronger. Um, so we just figured that if we can switch them, then uh, it helps us in a couple of rotations where having a little more balance works in our favor. And uh, uh, it, it's led to a, a better overall distribution for our team in terms of offense. Hannah, can you talk a little bit about your senior year? What's it been like to play here for four years? What it's been like to play here for four years? I think it's been an amazing experience overall. Um, I think there's been great support from coaches um, to just like the staff here at Minnesota. I think they've um, supplied us with all the resources we need to excel and succeed as both students and athletes. So I think it's been an amazing experience and I'm going to hopefully take what I learn into the future. And then Coach, can you maybe talk about the senior class a little bit and just how they've been instrumental in turning around? Sure, I mean, it, it's not over yet, right? I mean, they're, 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 there's still a long ways to go. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's a great class. They've been part of, um, you know, the, the building of of the foundation of this program and uh well i guess it's the rebuilding i mean you know the, it's not like it was in trouble before we got here but but there certainly have been some changes and and um you know they've led the way they've had to do the hard yards to to get this thing to where it is today so um hopefully they feel very proud of that and knowing how much work had to go into um becoming the team that they are uh but that'll be more for a question for them when they're, when they're done. Very good. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Chris. Thank you, guys.